A decade ago, I took my son out on a glass bottom boat over a beautiful reef. He was 10. The water was one great uncut sapphire stretching from the cool horizon to the tide smooth shore and inside it, Nemo's neighborhood whirled about as though someone had taken a snow globe of ocean and broken it open beneath us. I watched his eyes grow wide in wonder. They were always the deepest blue. A decade on, I saw my son fall in love with a beautiful girl as though I were watching through a glass bottom boat. This time, he was in the water. His fins were longer, his scales had grown lustrous and he glinted in the sunlight but he had slipped through my fingers. I kissed his forehead and let him go. He had chosen the catch he wanted and he dove in after her. Marlin style, he was a fish on a mission no matter how far it took him. When he looked at her, I watched his eyes grow wide in wonder. They were bluer than ever. She flew out on a Wednesday. I've watched him miss her in a million ways. Some nights I hear him breathe through gills as salty water dampens his pillow. When she was here, there used to be fishy stains on the sheets. Now she's gone. There are far more tears, far more tissues in the bin than tears can account for. Fathers are not stupid. Since she left, his eyes have stopped looking quite so blue. She flew out on a Wednesday and fish cannot fly, but heartbreak can teach them to drown. And now this boat is my prison and I can only watch him swim in circles. I want to tell him she might come back. I want to tell him to make like Dory and forget. I want to tell him there are more fish in the sea, but I can see he's not the fisherman here. He swallowed her hook, line and sinker. She's caught in his throat when friends and relatives ask, so how's the love life? He chokes on his answer. Bit of a dry spell, I guess, and his eyes don't look blue at all when he says it. Few people see it, but I know there's a line still cramping the corner of his mouth when he tries to smile. It's strung out across the ocean for thousands of miles, but she won't reel him in. He's caught without a captor. Lost without a landmark, no 42 Wallaby Way Sydney to set his sights on, so he's circling still, still in love. And I know there's fight left yet in this fish, and I know he's strong enough to pull through, but this glass is so thick, this boat's so still for so long, I'm afraid he's forgotten how to breathe out of water. I just hope that when that line is finally cut and the blue returns to his eyes, he still knows how to find his way home.